Uh, I did a show, and a guy saw my show, and he liked it so much, he gave me a... He was an antique dealer, it turns out. He gave me a wallet that once belonged to the famous magician, Harry Houdini. Oh, wow. and that's the same thing I said. I was very excited about this book of death because the wallet was, in fact, a collector's item worth lots of money. But I became even more excited after I got home because after I got home, I discovered a wad of cash in the wallet. Whoa. That's the same thing I said. <laughs> One, two, three, four, five, six one hundred dollar bills. Now, I'm honest. I picked up the phone. I called the guy at the store, and I asked him if he left any money in the wallet, like a five or a ten or a one. He said no. I said, thank you. Have a nice day. Click. <laughs> that meant I had one, two, three, four, five, six hundred bucks to spend any way I went. I went to the nearest mall I could find. I spent a hundred dollars on a very nice pair of pants. I spent a hundred dollars on a very nice shirt. Of course, I had to have a nice pair of shoes to match the outfit. The remaining three hundred dollars, I was going to hold on to it so I could be on time paying my bills for a change. And don't worry, when you get older, you'll know about bills. Trust me. Yeah. As I begin to count my one, two, three, four. Wait, wait, wait. I don't know about your math. When you have one, two, three, four, five, and six, even if you just spend one, how is it possible to still have one? Two, three, four, five, and six. You know what? I got nervous. I picked up the phone. I called the guy at the store. I explained to him that I found money in the wallet. I spent half of it. The same amount was left. He said, look, stay calm. Don't panic. Bring the cash. Bring the wallet. Come on down to the store. So when I got there, I explained to him in person how I had one, two, three, four, five, six. Six $100 bills. I spent one, two, three, and I still had... One, two, three. Attention, Dave and Buster's guests. Five. Numbers 40 through 60, you're needed in the pick room. Numbers 40 through 60, you're needed in the pick room. <laughs> All magicians at your skill level, they can do this. It's no big deal. When you become a master of magic, and I'm hoping one day I'll actually be good enough to be called the master, and you're able to go out and spend one, two, three, four, and still have. One, two, three, four, five, and six. Then you'll be a master of magic. So I'm hoping one day I'll be good enough to be called a master. I just keep more practice. Thank you.